Hi, I'm Donna Samiel from Niagara County Community College, and I'm going to talk about our updates that we've made to our campus homepage and on our a few things that um, to give you a little bit of background. When we first started with Brightspace, we put a lot of content into our templates and we found that that wasn't working um, very effectively because um, it was requiring faculty to go in and actually make updates to their templates. So what we decided to do is change our navigation and our campus homepage. So the content that um, needed to be updated regularly. So what we decided to do is in our nav bar, we tried to put any resources that we would wanna give to, to students to make it easier for them so that they could actually um, almost use the um, Brightspace as the portal instead of having to go back out to our, um, our campus website. Um, another thing that we did, we had campus resources that we decided that um, we actually had a module in our original template. And we decided that instead of having the module in the template, we added it as a widget instead. So here is our, um, our campus resources that we originally had a as a uh, module. And we had people actually delete that module from the courses from the original template that we started with and just um, tell them to point the students to this new widget. We also had a module in the, in the original template for online learners. And we decided to take that out and actually make that as a, um, a widget on the, at the campus homepage. Um, and these, these widgets also show inside of every single course as well on every single homepage, um, unless the faculty has gone in and, and made some changes. Okay, so um, another thing that we did was on our campus homepage, we have um, a drop down menu in the navigation bar that there were so many resources that we were finding that students had to go back to the campus website to find that we found it easier to create a drop down menu in the nav bar that links out to all of our um, resources. So you can see here that we have information. They can go out to the website, they can go to our tutoring center, get in the banner, um, degree works. We have a lot of resources that um, we wanted to provide students at their fingertips without having them leave Brightspace. So um, those are some of our, our biggest changes that we made to our campus homepage. And um, that same drop-down men menu is also at the opposite end in every single course. So we push it out. So again, if a student goes into a course and they are working on something and decide that they need the tutoring center and they want to schedule an appointment, they can go right to the drop down menu and um, go in and, and schedule um, a, uh, a meeting with a tutor if they need to. So um, those are some of the biggest things um, that we did with our campus homepage. I know that some campuses also went in and did a slim widget for the announcements. Um, we decided against that only because um, we were finding that the students were not opening it up to read the full messages, okay? So um, we also kept quick avail at the top. We have resources for getting help with Brightspace. We added that to the NAF bar as well. And um, we have a very strong student support special um, center for um, online students and for any student that's using Brightspace. So um, we have quick access to our um, SUNY online, or our, our NCCC online student support, or I should say SUNY um, Niagara, we just changed our name. So, um, and one of the biggest things we, you know, recommend to students is to plug the SUNY online help desk into their phone. Okay, um, I am going to show you the nav bar. So this is it as a faculty end of it, but I did want to show you that we do have those resources inside every course, and we also have our um, new SUNY Niagara that matches up with a lot of the stuff from the um, campus website, so they don't have to go back out to the website. So, um, so some of those are some of the things that we changed um, to customize our, um, our Brightspace um, homepage and to make it easier for our faculty and our students. 
Okay, thank you. Excellent.